Hey there everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Sapphire. We are going to give Victory Road another try. First time I came in there for a little exploration, wasn't very prepared. So what I've done is I've taught Flash to Nincada. Never knew it, it learnt that, but apparently it does, which is awesome. I've also bought a ton of Max Repels, which should keep all of the weaker monsters away. However, it only keeps weaker monsters away, so we may still see a couple of stronger monsters. Now, I just want to show you this uh, room that I was complaining about in the last episode. I said that, oh, it just leads to nowhere. It's just the same two rocks over and over again. Well, I've actually looked around with it uh, properly with Flash, and you know, it kind of looks like my assumption in the last episode. The rocks just, they're just, just one room with rocks there, and you push them, and one leads to another. But apparently, there's a back door. So we actually go for a bit of an exploration. Now, throughout this episode, all we're going to be doing is we're going to be exploring as much of uh, Victory Road as possible. We're not going to get to the Elite Four in this episode. We're going to explore it as much as we can. Um, I may not explore all of it, but I'm going to explore as much as I can in 15 minutes. So I hope you're happy with that. It's a big-ass cave. And we also have some big-ass trainers. To win your way for the Pokemon League, you need to first trust your Pokemon. Or whatever that said. And I trust my Pokemon. I trust my Pokemon to take on these green herd hippies. And she brings out Claydol. Claydol. Claydol is a ground and psychic type Pokemon. A very odd combination indeed. It's the evolved form of Baltoy as well. A Pokemon I don't think you've seen actually in this Let's Play. Claydol kicks off though with a move called Ancient Power. And Ancient Power is a rock type move. 60 base. However, it has a 10% chance to raise your attack, defense, special attack, special defense defense and speed so if you're feeling lucky it's an excellent move because if you get that boost then it's awesome it's like using five boosting moves in one terrific uh, terrific move if it was just a little bit more powerful or if the chances of raising your stats was a little bit more but two serves should do it Swellow gets the level up we also get some experience with my lady Ludicolo your relationship is uh, based on solid trust yes it was I'm <laughs> glad I worked that one out we move on and there's lots of bridges and lots of rocks and there's a couple of items that we want to find as well and this is one of the items which is a PP up now with the last PP up I raised Giga Drain's uh, PP by one because because remember, it's a five. It's a five PP move. It raises it by 20%, so it raises from five to six. Another PP up to um, to Giga Drain will raise it from six to seven, and then one more would make, raise it from seven to eight, and then we couldn't do it anymore because that would be the full 60% that you're allowed to do. We do see a couple of gold bats though, and as I was saying, it only keeps the Max Repel only keeps away weaker Pokémon. As Golbat is a level above Swellow at that moment, we saw the Golbat. But it, ain't it fun just being able to actually see things now? I'm so happy. <laughs> we see a Laron, the evolved form of Aaron, and Ar uh, Laron is a uh, steel and rock type Pokemon who we really don't want anything to do with. Swellow doesn't want. But we want to have something to do with this lady. We want to kick her ass because I'm sick of cool trainers. Cool trainers have all the cool Pokemon, and this um, lady has a couple of cool Pokemon, believe me. She kicks off with her first generation favourite. It's Sandslash, the evolved form of Sandshrew. You you have seen in this LP. Obviously, ground type Pokemon, weak to water, has a better physical defense and special defense. So, attack on the special defense if you can. It is weak to a couple of special defensive types as well uh, ice, water, grass. So, it's always best to use your special defenders on Sand Slash. But, Sand Slash, cool looking Pokemon, shame you couldn't hang around for a bit longer. But, we do see another cool Pokemon, and this one is Ninetales, the evolved form of Vulpix, and Ninetales is a fire type Pokemon. Who uses Safeguard? Safeguard will protect it from status. If I use Toxic now, Toxic would not work, it would not poison uh, Ninetales. So, again, decent move, however, I have Surf. Ember, weak fire type. Weak fire type attack, not going to do very much, although it was a neutral hit. And yeah, Ninetales down in two. Ninetales has decent special defense. I only say decent, though. No, it's not outstanding, but it's decent. You're better than me. Um, yes, I'm better than all of you. I've been tearing through this game for 39 episodes now. You should know that. I'm awesome. <laughs> 
Oh, excuse me. We do need to kill the Colo a bit, though. I do find the max potion. I'm going to max potions. I might as well use it. And we move on, and now we've got some water to traverse. Yay! Coolies. I do love water. Oh, I don't really. Now, we do have a waterfall to go up. However, I'm going to go this way first. Because, again, I want to explore as much as I can. Got ourselves a ladder here. And what's down here? We've got ourselves a new TM. What is this TM? I want to say Psychic. Not too sure, though. Let's have a look, shall we? I really want to say Psychic for some reason. Do it. Is it Psychic? Come on, game. Is it Psychic? Indeed, it is Psychic. Psychic is a base 90 uh, Psychic type move, which will lower the special, or which has a 10% chance of lowering the special defense. Now we we need to restart our Max Repel. Re max Repel is the best kind of repel you can get. 250 steps without seeing any. Um, you know, weaker Pokemon, so it's decent. But now that we've gone that way, we need to go up the waterfall to advance because, I, yeah, we can't get past those rocks, so we gotta go up the waterfall. Go, Sharpedo! Whee! Yay! That was fun, wasn't it? Lovely. Well, there is a battle here as well, and it's just. Game Freak is such a tease. There's an item there, and I'm like, oh, I want it, but no, I gotta take on another Pokemon trainer. Is it a cool guy? It is. Cool trainers all have green hair, and you know, everyone having the same thing isn't really cool so they're a walking contradiction but they do have a swallow so I'm feeling a bit cool at least we have our swallow which is the cool trainer well it was it was the cool contest champion wasn't it so I saw that was cool don't know about the other guys though as it uses double team and fly doesn't do very much damage it uses double team again which means that I'm not going to be able to hit it very well and I, I'm kind of craving a bit of aerial ace action because aerial ace would break through the double team it would ignore ignore evasion modifiers so I wish I had aerial ace but quick attack on the second try gets it and hopefully I can do it again because I'm thinking another hit will do um, will KO it so I risk it I roll the dice I roll the dice do I do I roll lucky indeed I do because Swellow is down with a critical hit oh yeah go Swellow god love you get a chunk of experience I recommend taking on as many trainers as you can in this place because you will get a lot of experience now for Minetric, obviously electric type Pokemon, I don't want to get Thunder Waved, can't be bothered with Thunder Wave, don't like being fully paralyzed, so all I'm going to do is just going to hit the Earthquake, and that should be it for Minetric, I'm a level up anyway. Oh, I got flinched, did I? God damn it, there's a very small chance you can get flinched from moves like Bite. Obviously I've explained flinch before, um, if you're using a flinching move, you have to go first, but if you go first and you do cause a flinch, the opponent Pokemon can't do a thing, it skips a turn basically, but one Earthquake does do the job. We're up to level 44 with Swampert, and we need all the levels we can get before we take on the Elite Four. So this is a decent job from my team, but I need many more levels. I will need a bit of off-screen uh, off training soon, believe me. But anyway, we go with a fly, and we're thinking Kadabra is weak very physically, well, physical defense is very weak, so we're going to try and attack it with fly, and hopefully we can get somewhere. Can we get somewhere? Oh, so close. Now it uses Future Sight. Now Future Sight doesn't stack, uh, fortunately, in this game. It uses Full Restore and that is bad because it means that another uh, turn off the original Future Sight that it used is actually gone now. And we are going to get hit by it, I think. Indeed we are. So it's been two turns since it used it and that will kill Swallow. God damn it. Oh, it's, yeah, Swallow was doing so well as well. Sharpedo would have been a decent choice there, but if only it had Crunch. I think I got rid of Crunch, didn't I? It knows four HMs now. But yeah, I, I choose to revive Swallow because because I needed to get some experience. I needed to be up with the other two Pokemon there, Swampert and Ludicolo. Now it uses Roleplay, which will copy our ability Swift Swim. However, there's no rain about, so there's no problem there. It does use Psychic, a very strong Psychic type move. It's not going to kill, thankfully, or it does take a lot though. Surf will do the business. Surf is strong enough. Ludicolo will get the level up, and we get the crit as well, so it is all good. We're doing well, guys. We're exploring Victory Road, and I'm not depressed yet because. If there's anything that depresses me about Pokemon games, it's Zubat and Golbat and Caves. Don't like those three. And usually all three are together anyway, so it's super depressing. <laughs> Shift Tree as ever, a grass and dark type Pokemon, the evolved form of Nuzleaf, uses a move called Growth which will raise its special attack. It's a decent move because dark and grass type moves are both special, however it is weak to the flying type move, we get a critical hit, man we are getting so many critical hits, man that is awesome stuff. Do we get the level up? Of course we do, Swallow gets to level 42, it's a beautiful day, 117 speed, he is super quick, oh yes. We move on and what is this item that I 
fought so valiantly for a full heal. God damn it, it wasn't even worth it, was it? Oh man, we already have full heals anyway. What is the point of that game? Oh well. We move on because we've got much more cave and many more battles to take on. It's such a big cave, believe me. Why not, lady? Hello, you must be getting a little tired. Believe me, I am. This cave is too big. Oh well. But anyway, cool trainer Caroline. She starts off with a Marwile. And Marwile is weak to, uh, no sorry, Marwile is a steel type Pokemon, pure steel type. And I've never really got the design of Marwile. Um it's got a big ass mouth. But it looks like it's got a face on it as well, and it's a very confusing Pokemon. I wish I would have seen it in the animes, because I don't know how it moves, I don't know how it works. It's it's strange, isn't it, though? But it did use Iron Defense, that's probably why it survived the Earthquake. Obviously, Steel-type Pokemon are weak to Ground-type Pokemon moves, such as Earthquake. It used the Iron Defense once, so that boosts its defense massively. It used it, used it again, so this shouldn't really take as much. I'm hoping for over half here. Over half should be fine, indeed it is. Oh dear, Marwile. Even though I do find it a little weird, I find it kind of cute in an odd way. I think I find the right side of it cute, more than the left side of it though. The, just the big mass of alligator mouth, it's it's freaking me out. <laughs> but we do see a Sablai, and Sablai is a uh, ghost and dark type Pokemon. Why am I running a blank so much? So much? I, I know this stuff. Yeah, dark and ghost type Pokemon, it doesn't quite die. We do get the Shadow Ball hit on us. Shadow Ball as ever, 80 base ghost type move. It does have a 20% chance of lowering our special defense. However, that's not going to happen. And because we're quicker than it, because Sablai is very slow, we do get the second earthquake and that will be the kill. Unlucky Caroline, no signs of tiring at all. It's because I'm ready and I really want to get through this cave. So let's run faster. Let's hopefully, hopefully I'll be able to get through the cave in this episode. If not, then it's going to be next episode. But by the time we finish the next episode, we will be at the Elite Four. I promise you guys, there will be... You, I will be there. I will be ready to take them on. But we do have another trainer. Oh, uh, yes, I am that tough little kid. And believe me, I am the toughest little kid you'll ever face. I've taken out enough little kids already in this game. I have stolen their hard-earned money. And we face ourselves. We face a Kecleon. We're going to use a uh, fly on Kecleon, I think. Yes, we do. And it uses a move called Substitute, also known as Sub to uh, many uh, Pokemon uh, professional competitive Pokemon trainers who love the Sub. Substitute is a move which takes a quarter of their own HP, sacrifices it and puts it into a Sub. That means that we have to be beat that Sub, we need to take out that Sub in order to start attacking the Pokemon directly. Think of it as, think of it as a defense. Now behind the sub, if you can start using uh, boosting moves. So if you have a sub up, you can start using Calm Mind. So if you start, if you have a sub up, they're trying to break that sub. But if you're Calm Minding up, you're boosting your uh, special attack and special defense whilst they're trying to break your sub. So whilst the sub is up, you are awesome, you are protected. However, once the sub is broken, you come back in. Remember that sub will have a quarter of your HP. So if your Pokemon has 400 HP and uh, you put a sub up, that sub will have 100 HP. If my Swampert was to do 100 HP's worth of damage to that sub, the sub would break. That's how sub works anyway. So we just saw Rhyhorn there as I was waffling on ground and rock type Pokemon and now we see a Tentacruel, Cru the evolved form of Tentacruel, poison and water type Pokemon. It uses barrier to uh, raise its uh, physical defense. That's, you're up to speed now by the way. <laughs> because it's a poison type Pokemon though, it is weak to the ground type. So Earthquake, Earthquake, keep on Earthquaking until it's dead. Uh, Tentacruel is a prolific special defense Pokemon. So if you do use something like Thunderbolt and it doesn't die straight away, then don't panic. It's just because it has an amazing special defense statistic. But we do get a chunk of experience there, uh, and we get to level 45. And boy, do we need the uh, boy, do we need those levels. Now there's two ways to go here. So I thought I'd go right first, but unfortunately I was interrupted by a Golbat. Now because Swallow had died and I'd not realized it, Sharpedo is now my lead. And because I'm, what, 10 levels below, I couldn't escape and I get hit by Air Cutter and Sharpedo. Does not like that whatsoever, which is nasty, but we do get away. Obviously, um, as the Pokemon are much stronger than Sharpedo, we will meet Pokemon even without Max Repel active. 
Anyway, as I just revived my swallow, I am officially out of time. So, we have explored Victory Road in and out. It's time to get out of here. We finish off Victory Road next time on Let's Play Pokemon Sapphire. See you later, guys.